This is the IB3 iBeam multi-tool. Contains multiple features, a composite tire lever with an SW0 and an SW2 compatible spoke wrench, eight millimeter hex box wrench. It has multiple hexes on it. The one and a half, two, two and a half, three, four, five, and six millimeter hexes with an eight millimeter hex adapter. It also has a T25 torque style bit and a flat screwdriver. And it comes with a 10 speed compatible chain tool which uses the tire lever to run the plunger. Let's take a closer look at some of these tools. In a trail side situation where your chain is broken and you don't have a replacement rivet, you can use your chain tool to remove the damaged links and rejoin the chain as a short term fix. Choose the appropriate rivet to drive out and use the chain tool to drive it out just far enough to detach the damaged segment of chain. Be sure not to push the rivet all the way out. Once the damaged chain has been removed, reconnect the other end of the chain and drive the rivet back in. You should consider this a temporary fix. Be sure to replace your chain as soon as possible. If you are replacing a chain, simply drive the rivet all the way out to remove the old chain. Be sure the pin is square and fully seated on the rivet. To install the new chain, place the new connecting rivet into the rivet hole and place the roller into the chain tool. Drive the replacement rivet into the chain. Finally, break off the pilot tip using the chain tool. Our new chain is installed. The composite tire lever included with the IB3 is a nice shaped spoon for easy bead engagement for removing the tires. The composite tire lever included with the IB3 has a steel core with two spoke wrenches equivalent sizes of an SW0 and an SW2 for adjusting the spokes. And that's the Park Tool IB3 iBeam multi-tool. A great tool to take along on any ride.